Northern Pike Ceviche. Is this a good idea or is this a bad idea? Well, that's what I'm gonna find out. We'll cover what is ceviche. We'll catch some pike. Ceviche right here. Acquire the other ingredients. Find the cilantro. Where would I be? Prepare the ceviche. And then have some taste testing. For ceviche. What's up? I'm Koa of Koa Nature, and today I'm gonna have my friends and family help me catch some northern pike so that we can make some northern pike ceviche, authentic style from what I learned in Peru. We'll see what happens. So, some of you may be wondering, what is ceviche? Well, it's simply just a seafood dish that's often made with fish, but other meats from the sea can be used, such as crab or octopus and it's all cured in lime juice. That's the main ingredient besides the main meat, and it's absolutely delicious. And yes, it is not heated by a flame or in an oven. It is chemically cooked with lime juice. So some people think ceviche is a raw fish dish, but it's really not. It's not like sushi because it gets that chemical cook from the citric acid within the limes that will denature the proteins within the meat and also kill bacteria. So unless you're pregnant or allergic to any of the ingredients, you shouldn't really worry about eating ceviche if it's properly prepared from fresh fish. All right, so two of the fishers that will be helping with this. We've got Boz right here. Say hi. What's up? Then we've got Vara. Or Ben, you may remember him from the Costa Rica series. What's going on? Denise and Bethany. Uh-huh. Yeah. Say hi or whatever. Hey. Hey. What's up? What's up? Yeah. Guido, you remember catching that big muskie in that episode? Hey. How's it going? We got Ace right hey. here. You remember Ace too. And uh, we got we got Redbeard here. You might also remember from the muskie episode. I was there. He was there. Up here, let me give you the key so you can the crew was ready to help me get some pipe. He's pretty small, right? We don't have to eat it. We could. It's up to you. After day one, we let our pike go and we got too distracted with musky fishing and stormy weather. Oh, nice. Ace, you do realize we're not making ceviche out of musky. <laughs> So these men texting behind me are gonna be the ones helping to uh, catch some northern pike. Hey, I have to black that out now. This is a, this is a family friendly channel. That's why I did it. That's gonna, my production time just went up. Back. Running back, yep. All right, so yesterday we, we got caught up in musky fishing in rainy weather. Uh, we're gonna divide up on teams on a different lake today. Still musky fish, but we're gonna get some pike for this ceviche. It's gonna happen, you wait and see. Kinda small for ceviche. Five northerns. Yeah, so we got five pike for ceviche. How many did you get? 
We got three. Three? Three keepers. Yeah. What'd you get them on? Spinner baits, all of them. Spinner baits, huh? Yep. Do you all want ceviche? Yeah. I mean, I'll try it. All right. Will you try the ceviche? Bass? Sure. No, we can get any bass. All right, so we're in the grocery store right now, and we're gonna get the supplies, and uh, I'll show those on the screen. Find the cilantro. Where would I be? I need three tablespoons, so I think uh, a wad of that, whatever you called it. Cilantro? Well, I know, but what do you call it? Like a, a bunch? A bunch? A bunch of... Sir, I would like cilantro. a bunch of cilantro. We need garlic bee. There's some right here. But that's not fresh fresh. Maybe over maybe over here. Oh there's some over here too. No, no. This looks like garlic. Alright, grab one of those for me. Just put it in. In Peru, you don't have ceviche without ahi. And I know we're in northern Wisconsin right now, but we're going to try and get some hot peppers for this. What do you think, B? Uh, probably do a couple of each. Jalapeno and habanero. Well, we only want one. We don't want it super spicy. Uh, we don't want it super. I mean, I'd do jalapeno, but I don't know. If you want spicier, then go habanero. Alright. It's up to you. We'll get one of each and then decide. Right, so we got one jalapeno and one habanero. So we need one red onion. Now we need the most important ingredient, which is? Lime. All right, yes. Five for one. We only really need eight for this recipe, so you can get 10. Might as well. And I don't have a squeezer. I did find a lemon squeezer. So some of the crew had to leave early, like Boz, and they won't get a chance to taste the ceviche. But perhaps that's a good thing. We'll find out. All right, so everybody left and left me with the fish to fillet, so we have some northern pike and I'm going to get filleting. I'm not all of this is going to go towards the ceviche, but I'll be sure to cut up some little cubes for the ceviche. Oh, and if you need to know how to fillet northern pike without getting the Y bones or the little itty bitty annoying bones that people don't like in pike, not in your meat, watch my other video, I'll link below. So northern pike doesn't exactly have a mild flavor like other fishes commonly used in ceviche such as skipjack tuna or sea bass and it definitely doesn't have a rich flavor like salmon which is a meat that does well on its own. It has more of a fishy flavor but I've eaten plenty of grilled and fried pike and it is delicious. And by the way, I will be following an authentic Peruvian ceviche recipe that I actually learned from a kind lady in Peru. And I made a video on that. I will link that below if you are curious. So we're taking most of our ceviche meat from the top part. Just do a nice cut up there. So he's just cutting up some good back chunks without bones, for sure, in the cubes. Right, so this is for frying. This is just going to be pickling meat because it's got a lot of bones in it. And this is what we kept for the ceviche. So we're going to have to rinse that off and clean it. And thanks to Ace for helping fillet the pike he caught. Of course. Ben wants to help. He can wake up and squeeze some limes. <laughs> yes? Sure. Chop it. Yeah, chop it. And 
We'll do that to about eight of them. Maybe more. Just do them all. Yo, we yeah. don't chop up some garlic. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Alright, there's some garlic right there. Senor, mince that. Yeah, I know. You can take the chopper here. Okay, now we're faced with a little conundrum. Do we go with the jalapeno or do we go with the habanero? Ben, you got any ideas? Fitty fitty. He's fitty fitty. No, I was saying you go 50 jalapeno, 50 habanero. Oh, he's saying half and half. All right, that's a good idea. Let's do it. In Peru, they threw some peppers in front of you that are this color, and you know it's going to burn. I haven't had habanero in a very long time, so I'm going to taste it. Kind of sweet. There's the. There's the kick. Yeah. It's not too bad though. We could add more. My eyes are kind of watering. A little bit of the jalapeno as well. Nothing. We're, we're going to have to make this pretty spicy. I'm going to add all of the habanero. Yeah. Okay, so we're ready. Ben and I have the fish that we all caught. We've got the ingredients mixed up and ready to go. So the first step to the last step is to mix together all of the food items. And this will be the very last step, the lime juice. Okay, so Ben, would you put in the garlic, the cilantro, the habanero, and the jalapeno? Check in the onion. Yeah, that's it. it. Seems like a lot of onion on it. Okay, uh, your hands clean? Yep. Okay, you wanna just mix that up? Looks good. Okay, we're gonna put the onion in. Now the final step is to pour on. This is lime juice from 10 limes? 10 limes. We don't really need 10 limes. Okay, I think that's good for now. So, we're gonna mix it up a little bit more. And we're gonna mix it for probably a few minutes and then let it sit for like five minutes. Let the lime juice denature the proteins and kill the bacteria that are in here. And that's where you get that cooked, cooked uh, sort of impression. Ben, how do you think this is gonna taste? Probably like most of the ceviche I've had. You think so? I hope so. I mean, I haven't had pike ceviche, so this will be a new experience for me. Me too. Me too. <laughs> ben, we forgot an ingredient. Which one's that? I need you to add like a pinch or two of salt. Salt. I bought some salt over here. Okay. Okay, so I've let the... Uh, Ceviche sit for about five to ten minutes. I don't know. I was doing a little bit of cleaning. I'm gonna taste it before other people taste it. I want to see how it is. I got a nice piece here. It's not bad. I think it could use more cilantro though. All right, Ben. Please try one piece of Northern Pike ceviche and give your thoughts. Hmm. 
It's actually pretty good. Yeah? That's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. You like it? <laughs> yeah. It's way better than I expected. I'll say that. And this is a man that huh. went into this with some doubts. I did. I'm not a huge ceviche fan, um, but that's pretty good, actually. It's better than I expected. All right. Ace, you want to try some of that pike you caught today? Oh, yeah. All right, grab a plate. Huh. Not, I need to get to shoot you from there. Okay. It's good. Do we have any other adjectives besides good? <laughs> Unique. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely taste the pipe, right? Yeah, you can taste the lime. The lime and the cilantro are pretty heavy. Mm -hmm. If you add the red the, pepper, the, the lime, red pepper is pretty strong. The lime will always be strong. Yeah. Yeah, you can taste the fish, but definitely the cilantro and the lime. All right, let's see if Denise wants to try some of this. It's fishy. It is fishy, yeah. Yep, she doesn't want to like it. <laughs> you can put it down, it's okay. Get a little red pepper with it this time. No, I think if it, yeah. I think if it um, sits a little bit too. Mm-hmm. I taste a lot of lime. I think it's kind of cool and refreshing. Cool and refreshing, okay. But I think that my first bite tasted fishy. Oh, yeah. The second bite didn't taste as fishy, too. Maybe it's just... It, you won't lose the fish taste. I don't think you'll lose the fish taste with the northern pike. You can really taste the northern <laughs> pike in this fish. And... I like that. But... This is probably the worst ceviche I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> healthy. Freshens your breath. Freshens your breath. Bottom line, ceviche made from pike meat is not that bad, but it's definitely not terrific. I think I could have tweaked the recipe a little bit to make it better. And the only ceviche I've eaten in my life has either been made by Peruvians who knew what they were doing here in the United States or within Costa Rica and Peru, where they definitely know what they're doing. So I know not everyone's gonna eat all this ceviche and I know I can't. So I'm gonna grill it up. It's basically been marinating in some awesomeness. So I'm gonna see what grilling it's gonna be like. Grilled up pretty good. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna keep trying this in the future and see what happens. I encourage you to try it out. And if all fails, don't throw your ceviche away. Let it marinate and then grill it and you will have a fabulous meal. So, best of luck to you with your fishing and experimenting in the kitchen. Spread some knowledge, be nature heroic. And you can check out some other videos. Um, my fishing education videos are doing very well. I've got some entertaining stories. Subscribe, like, you do what you gotta do. Have a good one.